Why did the U.S. build a giant wall stretching from Canada all the way to Texas, made not of concrete or steel, but of trees? And how did this wall help stop a disaster caused by humans themselves? Look, east of the Rocky Mountains lie the Great Plains, a dry, flat, and almost empty region that throughout history was considered unsuitable for agriculture. But in the early 20th century, the arrival of tractors and new plows made it possible to effectively till and cultivate this land, leading to a rapid rise in farming. For thousands of years, the Great Plains were covered with prairie grasses that had deep roots. But after heavy plowing, these grasses disappeared, and there was nothing left to hold the soil in place. Constant winds began to literally lift the soil into the air, and combined with the drought of the 30s, dust storms reached terrifying size. Walls of dust rose up to two and a half miles high, completely blocking out the sun and turning day into night. It's called black blizzards. Thousands of people died from dust pneumonia, and hundreds of thousands suffered serious complications. All of this forced around two and a half million people to leave their homes, and the country faced the risk of an environmental crisis. As a result, the U.S. launched an ambitious plan known as the Great Plains Shelter Belt to defeat the wind with trees. In a strip about 100 miles wide and over 1,000 miles long, about 220 million trees were planted in a special pattern so they could act as windbreaks and reduce wind speed by up to 50%. And as a result, it worked. By slowing the wind, the shelter belt stopped the dust and made it possible for people to return to their homes.